hopefully there's some fish in the spots that I think there's fish in spots. Hey boo, if you're watching this, can we move here? Got him. Had it, has it, has it, it has it. It has it, swimming towards my feet. That's a fish. Be better, be better. Luckily these rocks don't, they, I mean, you can generally speaking get it out. You know, just friendly rocks, they don't ruin your day. All right, so literally the cast after I said all these rocks are nice, one of those nice rocks turned into a dickhead and stole my jig. Holy shit, I didn't think it was that big. Yep. That's a bigger one. <gasps> no. No! Hello, glorious spilling way that's not really spilling, but that one is. That one is. And let's just walk right over here because this one most definitely is. Look at this big raging canal thing. I have fished it once before, twice before actually. You guys never saw it because I didn't catch a damn thing, but I came in February when the water was frozen, so I'm not too surprised. But I am back and I got about four hours till it gets dark. So uh, yeah, enough talking. Let's get the fishing. Giant fish in this thing, but pow. What is going on, you dirty old stash bags? It is me and I am on hour like 13 of fishing today, which is, Glorious. I'm actually feeling pretty good for being on hour 12 or 13 of fishing today. And um, yeah, the catch or die tour continues, but uh, I'm not gonna die because I still have about, I don't know, pound and a half of walleye. But uh, I'm so confident in myself or I'm doing so well on surviving this challenge that I have $3,000 worth of stuff probably in a truck. It's kind of a joke, but. Um, yeah, we're gonna try to catch some trout, maybe some suckers and there is very, very large trout in there. Um, I know some people catch double digits, so that's pretty large in my book. Not promising a double digit today. Even if I caught some small ones to eat, I'd be happy. And I know B Jizzle was out here the other day and he caught uh, got some big suckers. I don't know, I like big suckers. I can't uh, catch them at home, so. Yeah, also a uh, subscriber, Tim, long time he says, four years or so three years, something like that. It's long since the beginning. He's also gonna come out and show me around. So come along with me. See if all we can catch while we're waiting for him. And then, um, yeah, did I say his name was Tim? His name is Tim. I hope I said Tim. Anyway, let's do this. Ba pow All right, well, first things first, BJ said there's suckers over here. And for some reason, the reason being I'm a child, I'm gonna try to catch one. But I could catch a trout doing this too, so it's part of it. Not a Carolina rig. I'm starting with a crawler with split shots because that seems to be the deal for this area according to the locales. I also have uh, I have some spinners that might get used. This one looks kind of stagnant, so I might move down to that one or fish those rocks or fish one of those waterfalls or something like that. But at this point, we're just trying to get bit. That big canal I showed you last is really scary and we probably won't really fish it unless we've caught some other things. So yeah, that's the plan. Just gonna kind of work around and see if we can't get bit by something. Might keep a trout or two. Speaking of that, I should probably grab my stringer just in case. Yeah. Once I move out of this spot, I'll go grab my stringer. And yeah, we'll go from there. Definitely a cool spot though. The only times I fished it, it kicked my ass, so I'm kind of mad at it, but. I mean, it's definitely neato. That is for sure. That is for sure. And I know it has fish, but the real question is, can I catch them? That's another problem entirely. We'll see what happens though. Caught one. Small mouth. Took forever. Can't seem to get away from the smallies, but it's something. Never caught a fish here in my life. And I've tried a lot. Later, little bud. Later, little bud. Switched over to a cast master. Still haven't figured much out for the trout or the suckers, um, but I did catch a smallmouth, as you guys saw. So that's something better than nothing. Not by a whole lot, but it is better than nothing. And I'm happy to have caught something out of this lake. 
I just wish it was a trout. I fished both sides of this uh, raging spillway down here. I got nothing on the other side and a little tiny small mouth on this side. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go fish some of those like river dam things down that away and see if I can't figure something out there. I'm not quite, I just don't think I'm ready for the main canal. It's just, I think it's just out of my league. Even though I think that's where the bigger fish are. So I should just be trying to be a hero or a zero, but I mean, I'd rather be a somebody than a zero. So that's what we're going for now. Oh no, it's raining. And all I've caught is a small mouth. So it's not worth standing in the rain. I don't know if I'm coming back here tomorrow. I don't think I am. I mean, obviously it didn't go very well. Um, we might go try down river real quick. See if we can get something there, but I don't think it's worth driving an hour. We got fish to catch back at our campsite still. But still one of the prettiest damn places I've seen. <laughs> Especially with the clouds, so. One of these days I'll, uh, I'll accomplish something here. I guess I caught my first fish here. The smallest smallmouth of the trip. Yes! Yes! But, yeah, no trout. I don't really like eating trout that much anyway, so I'm not that sad about it. I really did want to catch some. Depending on what this weather's doing, might try one more spot. Or might drive back to camp and make sure my tent's, tent's still there and not flooded. I think I closed it before I left this time. I'm really not sure. Oh yeah, I got my sunglasses on for once. That was probably a weird view for you guys. Not something you see every day. It actually feels really good right now, but there's some thunder in the distance, so yeah. <laughs> All right, the rain kind of stopped, so we're gonna try one more spot. One more chance at a trout. One mo again. Also, when I was running from the rain, I uh, slammed my uh, brand new Lux rod in the door, so that's, that's something. That is something. That's all right, though, I got a couple. Got a couple. I forgot I grab a hold of the rod to, uh, to cast. <laughs> <laughs> whoops a daisy I'm gonna go get some tape and see if I can fix that little booger I doubt it I think it's gonna take more than tape I'm gonna try though I am gonna try good as new not really I'm gonna have to be careful it seemed like a bite I got a fish. I don't think it's a trout, or if it is a trout, it's big. It looks like a walleye. No, it's a trout and it's yeah, big. big yeah. Even with my broken rod, I didn't tell you when I was running from the rain, I slammed it in the door. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's the biggest trout I've ever caught in Nebraska. I guess I haven't caught it yet. Uh, I doubt I have it. <laughs> it's like a four pounder or something. Oh, yeah, dude. That's why I was trying to get you down here because you said trout. I was like, yeah. There's some big in the I came for a trout, and that is definitely a trout. Oh, yeah. That's a big rainbow. I thought it was a carp for a second. That's a big ass rainbow. He's gonna oh, bite you hard. goodness. Yeah, I slammed when I was running from the rain, I slammed it in the car door. And now I taped it and it's working still, kinda. I just realized both my nets are hanging on my freaking carport. So that's just... and, and that's the only thing I left at home, so we'll just take our time. I'll probably keep him unless you don't want me to. No, dude, do it. I, I, I haven't tried, are these big ones better than the little tiny stalkers? Oh dude, the pink meat in it, man, is so freaking good. Well, shout out to you, man. You got any lemon or orange with you? <laughs> I, your survival challenge? I don't, man? I do have butter though, like garlic oh, yeah. butter. Oh, no, that'll, that'll do it, that'll do it. This is a giant, this is a good one. I got a bump before, but I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want to jinx it and I didn't think it was real life, but this one thumped it. Dude, I'll tell you what, when these big models hit it, you know. But hey, then you're like, is that a carp? I thought it was. Yeah, that's exactly. And then you're going like, wait a second. <clears throat> the head shakes on this side of this. I was feeling pretty down and pretty tired about breaking my rod and getting rained on five times today, but this makes it all better. That's <laughs> badass. Is that is a big one. 
He's hooked pretty good too. He'll probably take a couple tries, but I got him right in the snoot. Yeah, that's, that's an amazing one. Oh, I do not want to... That's all right. Yeah. If he gets away, I won't cry. He's actually kind of barely hooked. I'm gonna let him run if he tries. He got it. We're good. <laughs> Dude, good. hell yes. That is a monster. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. I've came to... These are the ones that I get down here sometimes, man. Sometimes they're smallows. Really? They just... I was expecting a like, smallow. When there's no bites, one of these will show itself. And you're like, what? Yeah, so there you hey. go, man. Badass. That's a hell of a fish, bud. All righty. Well, shout out to Tim for uh, showing me the ropes. It took a few spots and a broken rod, but I mean, maybe it's not five pounds. This is probably small for this area or not really no that's a pretty good sized one they get bigger but i mean that one's got to be three four and a half. three four three yeah four. something like that but 20 inches i bet let's measure it quick we didn't come prepared with a net and i was planning on keeping a trout to eat anyway i wish it was smaller but i mean it is what it is they are just stalkers they're not uh native i don't believe but uh yeah almost 20 inches 19 and a half inch trout and you say they taste a little better than the little tiny stalkers yeah by far well i guess uh trout catch and cook there you go man it's happening maybe at home maybe i'll show you guys the home finally and we'll cook the trout for boo but i'm gonna put this guy in a stringer and we're gonna keep fishing with a broken ass rod and see if we can get another thanks again yeah yeah appreciate it oh, yeah, man. all right trout bud let's get going even though i hate eating trout i think this guy might be pretty good and i still appreciate their existence and appreciate their meat even though it's my least favorite but this guy might be pretty good. The meat's, meat's pretty pink. And uh, Tim said he wanted my rod. He's gonna hang it on his wall, so everything works out for everybody. All right, well, you couldn't really catch him up at the spillway, but I mean, that was uh, that was pretty, pretty cool. I'm gonna take this bud up, put him on ice, give Tim the rod, head back to camp, make sure my tent's still there and not uh, even more full of water than it was before. But rest in peace, Lux Rod. You did good. You found a new home. I'll miss you but I'll get another. Oh, not gonna lie, the tape job was actually, was actually pretty good. And, got a fish on. And I was also thinking, I don't know if this is my biggest basket rainbow, I forgot about that pond I was fishing and catching them this size, but finally caught one out of this area. Thanks to Tim. Alrighty, it should be a pretty easy process actually. Got the grill up front so I don't have to go digging through it. Got my bag of trash on top of it, so that doesn't really help much. We'll pick that up. Pop her open. Dang it, I promised I was gonna clean this thing. Can I just buy a new one? I just wanna buy a new one. Am I even in the frame? I don't know how to work these fancy cameras. These are the things that experienced YouTubers don't show you. The struggles. It's about as good as it's gonna get. It's good enough for Good enough for who it's for. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so funny. All right, let's get our trout butt out. Not exactly the freshest ever, but it's decently fresh enough. Good enough for who it's for. <laughs> Any hoodles. She smells fine. Been on ice. We gutted her and bled her out in the river and put her directly on ice. She's been on ice the whole time, so should be decent. One problem I have is my pan is not very big. It's not big enough for however much this trout weighs, so we're gonna have to stake it out. By stake it out, I mean cut it into steaks. Thanks for your meat, trout bud. Thanks for your meat. All right, well, it's kind of orangish meat. Um, definitely isn't, uh, definitely isn't pink, but it looks a little better than the stalker, so. And I'm very, very hungry. So if I was ever gonna like trout, it'd be now. I'm gonna make a few of these bad boys. Get the grill going. Get to cooking. Probably have to rinse them off a little bit too, but see you there and stuff. Kinda got the wind in the wrong direction here. It's coming from my back, but we'll make it work. We also have limited cooking supplies. We got our butter and we still have our chili lime steak seasoning. So yeah, we're gonna try to blacken it. Instead of using these as a wind block, we're gonna use our self, selves, selfie as a wind block. It probably isn't gonna fill me up, but my plan is to find the nearest fast food joint the second I am done with this, this trip. 
so I don't need to be too full. Also, I've never cooked trout like this, so I'm not sure how this is gonna be. I'll tell you what though, when I made the walleye like this, it was probably the best walleye I ever had, so I'm hopeful. Just have to make sure I get it cooked all the way. A little too soon, I think. What do you wanna talk about while I wait? Stuff, how's your day, how are things? I wish you guys could smell that, because it smells amazing. Here, we'll just put it on. It'll work out. It will work out. All right, gonna do stand in front of the wind and obviously the sun, so you guys probably can't see it super well, but hopefully you can see it a little bit. And um, yeah, flip it in a few minutes, and we should be good to go. Should be good to go, see you there. All righty, well, here we go. Chili lime trout steaks. I probably cooked them a little too long, but I felt like It'd be better to cook them too long than not long enough and like get sick or something. I don't know, it seems like common sense, but uh, I think that's just fat, right? Or is that just not cooked enough? I have to trim that off. I don't know, we'll risk it for the biscuit, but I mean, it's definitely the best looking trout I've ever seen. It's not saying much though. All right, <clears throat> so for all the marbles, boys and girls. Is this gonna be good? Definitely just falls apart. You gotta get the bones out though, but luckily with this big of a trout, the bones are pretty big and easy to find for the most part. Hmm. Not bad. To be honest, not bad at all. It is not better than the walleye. I'm also dripping butter on my pants. But it is pretty damn good. Trout is just so much harder to eat than walleye. I mean, look at those two little nuggets. Those look pretty tasty. Got a bone hanging off one of them. A couple bones, actually. That's what I hate about trout. All righty, well, uh, I am gonna eat the rest of it, but I think I'm gonna throw it back on because the thicker pieces are kind of mushy and I don't really like it, it makes me uncomfortable, but it is probably the best trout I've ever ate. If you haven't tried like any sort of chili lime seasoning, the ones that I get is from Piedmontese is what it's called. It's only in Nebraska, they might ship it out, I don't know, but chili lime and garlic butter mixed together is money. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Shout out to Tim for uh, showing me around uh, that area. I won't say the name, I try not to, but uh, I've tried there a couple times. I've spent a lot of time fishing there and I've never caught a single fish and that is definitely one of the bigger rainbows I've ever caught in Nebraska and potentially the biggest. And he's pretty delicious, so worked out for everybody. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. See you soon, stuff and things, bye bye. Oh, yeah.